What's up guys, Fierce Bartons here. In today's video, we are going to be discussing everything that I think Modern Warfare needs to be a good game. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, one of those things is leaderboards because for some reason, Treyarch and Black Ops 4 were like, nah, we don't need leaderboards in this game. And leaderboards are not in Black Ops 4. It does not make any sense whatsoever. Uh, I think part of the reason is they want to hide the stats of bad players. And then the other part is they probably want to hide the player count of the game because the player count is nothing like it was back in Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 3. Like You can see in this gameplay, Modern Warfare 3, uh, this is a MOB gameplay. It is a very campy game. I was definitely a noob back in the day. But anyways, back on topic. Uh, so leaderboards, I think they need to be in the game. It gives players who are good something to grind for, you know, top 100,000, top 10,000, top 1,000. Or if you play a specific game mode that, you know, not a whole lot of people play or, you, you know, you just play one game mode, trying to grind, you know, top 1,000 or top 5,000 in that one game mode, like, that's really fun to do. Uh, and I want that back. There's no reason for it not to be in Call of Duty. And the same goes with the combat record. Uh, Black Ops 4, you know, was, and Treyarch said they were going to bring back the combat record and later boards into the game, and they never brought them into the game. And it doesn't make any sense. I want to be able to check my stats. You know, if I can't check, you know, random people's stats, you know, that's fine. But I should be able to check, you know, my stats without having to open an app. It's kind of ridiculous. It should be in-game. gives me hands-on right then and there. And so I think that having those two things back in the game is kind of a must there's no reason for them not to be in a call of duty game so next up this one i don't think is going to happen honestly and that is a good microtransaction system and the thing that pisses me off about the microtransaction system is that it just gets progressively worse as the year goes on it'll start good and kind of fair and i'm like okay i can live with it but after like the holiday season they completely screw it up and they just it's just so dumb after the holiday season. So when you get Modern Warfare, if you are getting it, make sure to grind the game until December at least because uh, that will be when you have the most fun before they ruin the game with microtransactions. So if you can get all your fun in, then that would be good. But they just need to not ruin it. There's no reason a game that already costs $60 should have a $30 melee weapon in it. They just have every single microtransaction possible without it being pay to win and technically i mean with dlc weapons now and supply drops in black ops 4 a lot of the stuff is pay to win kind of almost i guess it's kind of more pay to play but uh people who don't pay to play don't have the option of using some of the new dlc guns unfortunately in that game and so yeah as i said i think this is almost guaranteed to potentially kill the game a little bit it's definitely going to piss off a lot of people though for sure uh, and so moving on the next thing i have is the full game at launch because we have not seen this the last couple of years with black ops 4 and call of duty world war 2 with black ops 4 it already had a bunch of recycled content right off the rip which is not very good and it just kind of bored out the game quite a bit and didn't make it last as long as it should have right off the rip and then also with Black Ops 4 League Play, it took them like four to five months to add into the game. And as I said, they didn't have leaderboards. They didn't have combat record in the game at launch. You know, that stuff needs to be there. And it looks like we're getting that this year, though. So I'm kind of happy. Uh, there's a lot of content coming. You know, we have the 2v2 mode, and we're going to be playing an alpha, and we already know five maps. We're going to be playing five maps before the game even comes out, which I'm it's really fun, but I'm also kind of worried, you know, you know, are those only going to be like the only five maps or something? How many maps are we going to have for the 2v2 mode? But uh, we might get bored of them really quickly here. But uh, So the 2v2 mode, we have standard 6v6. Then we have the 10v10 headquarters mode. We have the ground war mode where it could be you know 50v50 or something. So there's a lot of different play styles available and a lot of different content. So I'm not really too worried. Plus, you know, we have spec ops and campaign. Uh, the only thing that is missing is a battle royale, which they could end up adding in the future. There are rumors of that happening. So I don't think we have to worry this year about content, but you just never know how much content we'll actually get at launch. Because with Call of Duty betas, we pretty much get like 90% of the game in the beta. And then there's not much else to play once launch day comes like we saw in world war ii there's only 10 maps at launch and we had played like i think six of them five or six of them during the beta and we 
pretty much had every single weapon unlocked and all the perks. It was like I had already played the full game and the game had not even come out yet. It was just classified as a beta. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of skeptical, skeptical about Call of Duty betas, honestly. But I'm happy that we are getting an alpha and a beta for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So next up is post-launch support. And this seems to be going pretty well so far as well. We have only seen gameplay, and they're already responding to community feedback just from gameplay that they have seen. You know, a lot of most of the people have not played the game yet, and they are already responding to the feedback the community is given. Like the night vision goggles were not appearing on the character models during the uh, alpha build that the streamers were playing at the reveal, and they are already responding to that feedback, and making sure that happens, and a bunch of other stuff too. So that seems good, but you know, sometimes they stop supporting their game as much as they should, you know, once launch comes. So you never really know how that's going to end up working out. A lot of times, you know, during the beta, you know, they, they act like they're getting a lot of feedback back and they are taking notes and whatnot. But then once the full game comes out, they kind of ignore all that, you know, feedback we give them and they don't really, you know, support their game as much as they should or as much as the community would like them to. So. On top of this, though, I mean, we have free DLC maps, so there's going to be some support there. You know, the player base is not going to be split this year, which is, thank God. Uh, and we also have crossplay, so, you know, maybe, you know, your friend, you know, for the past five years, you know, you haven't been able to play with him on, you know, Xbox because he has a PS4. Uh, this year, you know, you, we are going to be able to, you know, keep the community together, you know, throughout the whole year with the crossplay, which is going to be pretty nice, except during the f times when. PlayStation gets the DLC maps, you know, one week early. It's going to be kind of weird how they're going to have like a shut off cross play for like one week, or I guess PS4 players will just have to join Xbox players and not be able to play the new maps for a week or something. I don't know how that's going to work with the exclusivity for one week and the cross play. That'll be interesting to see how that ends up working out. But then a couple other things to wrap this up. Fun elements. Uh, the realism in this game is going to be much more real than we, what we've seen in quite a while. It'll probably be the most real Call of Duty we've seen ever, maybe. And World War II was kind of a realistic game. And it just kind of was very dull, though. And it kind of got kind of boring really quickly. So that's just kind of one of my concerns. Now, from the maps I've seen, they look really good. And I'm happy about that. But I just hope they don't make it too realistic where it gets bull, uh, dull and gray and boring and it just gets old pretty quickly like World War II did. So hopefully that doesn't happen this year, fingers crossed. And then just adding like little party game modes like Infected or Gun Game definitely does help uh, in that fun element sort of stuff. And then next up is good maps. This year they are going away from the three lane map system that we've seen pretty much since Black Ops 2. Uh, I guess Call of Duty Ghost didn't really have it, and that's why everyone loves the three-lane system, because most of the Call of Duty Ghost maps are kind of bad. But So that's why everyone just stuck with the three-lane map system, but it's kind of gotten too symmetrical, and too, you, can, you can already see how the map plays out in your head, and it just kind of takes away the fun and feel and the flow of Call of Duty sometimes. And so that might be coming back this year, so it could be a good thing that they're getting rid of the three-lane map system. But it also could be very bad if, you know, these maps are designed poorly. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how well it plays out. And so, yeah, just good maps would really help this game quite a bit. Uh, weapon balance is going to be kind of tough with so many different weapon attachments in this game. It's going to be really interesting to see how well they can balance weapons this year. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for what I think Call of Duty Modern Warfare needs to be a good game. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. And this was like one of my first Moabs. So yeah, once again, very noobish gameplay here. Very slow with the M60. So, <laughs> But it is Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, so it is pretty decent. But yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video.